Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. I have got a beautiful book for you today. Um, this is a book that I've read a billion times. It's a book that um, I started reading a long time ago. And it's a book that reminds me of growing up with my brother. Okay? And um, so anyway, it's beautiful. Take a look. I Love You, The Purplest. I Love You, The Purplest. It's by Barbara Yusei. And it's illustrated by Mary White. And so this is another book that has beautiful watercolor. Look at this end paper here. Isn't that beautiful? It really looks wet, doesn't it? <laughs> so I love you, the purplest. Ah, there it is. Early in the evening, the brothers and their mama finished supper in the sturdy red cabin and set out to fish. The lake slowed its thrashing to a soft, even beat. The mosquitoes dipped low to the water and the water bugs skittered on top. The moon glowed on one side of the lake while the sun shimmered on the other. This was the time when fishing was best. Max exploded from the cabin. Twirling the shovel in front of him, Mama came next, then Julian. Julian shut the cabin door tightly to keep it safe from burglars and bears. Julian scooped the dirt to find the fattest worms. Max jumped on the shovel and flung dirt in the air until a tangle of worms filled his can. Mama, who has the most worms, he asked. Jeez. Mama smiled. Max, your can is filled with the liveliest worms. And Julian, your worms are the juiciest. Max, Julian, and Mama stepped into the small wooden boat. Julian took one oar, and Max took the other. Julian planted his blue boots wide and took deep, even strokes. Max braced his red boots against the ribs of the boat and stroked quickly through the water. The brothers' faces were hot as they gulped, in, they gulped at the air. And Julian gasped, Mama, who's the best rower? Sounds like they want to know who the best one is, right? Mama's eyes grew soft. By Julian, you took the deepest strokes. And Max, your strokes were fastest. The three fished until stars sprinkled the sky and the water d turned dark as night. In the end, Mama caught one fish. Julian caught one fish. And Max caught three. I'm the best fisherman, cried Max, hoisting his fish in the air. Julian pushed his hat brim low on his face. Three fish. What a bountiful fisherman you are, said Mama. Julian, you're the cleverest. Your fish hid in the weeds, but you waited. And when your bobber jerked in the water, you kept your pole high and you reeled in a fine, fat fish. She's so good at helping them to not feel bad, right? So when the fishing and the baths and the stories were done, Mama tucked the brothers into bed. Julian slept in the top bunk. And she reached up to kiss him goodnight. Mom!
Mama, whispered Julian, his hands forming a tunnel around her ear. Who do you love best? You knew that was coming, didn't you? Mama thought for a minute, and then she whispered, My Julian, I love you the bluest. I love you the color of a dragonfly at the tip of its wing. I love you the color of a cave in its deepest hidden part, where grizzly bears and bats curl up until night. The mist of a mountain, the splash of a waterfall, the hush of a whisper. The breath in Julian's chest grew and grew and grew until he couldn't hold it in any longer. And then it came out in a long, velvety sigh. Mama crouched low to the bunk where Max slept. Max wriggled his finger for Mama to come close. And he whispered, Mama. Who do you love best? My Max, I love you the reddest. I love you the color of the sky before it blazes into night. I love you the color of a leopard's eyes when it prowls through the jungle and the color of a campfire at the edge of the flame. A wide open hug, the swirl of a magic cape, the thunder of a shout. The smile on Max's face grew and grew until his cheeks couldn't hold it in. And then it came out in a big thundery laugh. Later in the evening, the brothers and their mama slept, one in the top bunk, glowing like the evening moon, one in the bottom bunk, shimmering like the evening sun, and mama in the big bed, dreaming of the boys that she loved best. And that's the end. What a beautiful story, isn't it? The pictures and the words and, and everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you can find other books by Barbara Yusei. They're just as good. I'll see you next time.